Yo, what's up? This is Patrick from Guy in the Cube. And in this Two Minute Tuesday, I'm gonna talk all about the Applied Drill Down Filters 2 feature in Power BI Desktop. All right, so I was stumbling about and, bum <clears throat> and bumbling about in Power BI Desktop and I saw this little feature and I called Adam up and he was like, and I showed him and he was like, what the French, right? What the French toast is this? When did they add this? I was like, I don't know, but I'm doing a video on it, all right? So you guys know I like to do, instead of all this talking, let's do what? Let's head over to my laptop. Okay, so let's pretend, let's imagine you've created this beautiful report right here and you have this bar chart and you have a drill path configured, right? Claim type, claim status, and item. So every time I click something, it's gonna drill down. And by default, watch this, I want you to pay attention closely. If I add all these up, they equal to 17 million, okay? If I click this, right, since I've enabled drill by clicking this little down arrow, if I click this, what, what, they change. But what if I don't want them to change? What if I only want one to change? Well, that's what this new feature, this, I don't know how new it is, how old it is, but it's there. That's what this new capability allows you to do, all right? So if you take a look, right, I'm gonna drill back up, make sure this element is selected, go to the ribbon and click on format. You'll see this section, edit interactions, it's been there forever, but they got this little apply drop, drill down filters to, right? Option here, this little drop down. So you got two choices, entire page, selected visual. If I click selected visual and then I drill, right? They don't change. That's what I expected to happen. But if I toggle it back to entire page, notice how they change. If I keep drilling, Right, they keep changing based on my drill path, right? So see like a proven full is 2.8 million. If I click it, the total claim amount will change to 2.8 million. So it's just following the drill path, which is great if I want every element on the entire page to be affected by that drill. But what if I don't? Well, that's where edit interactions comes into play. So if you couple these two features together, you can make a nice experience for your end users. So let's drill all the way back up, right? And so on the bar chart, I have total claim amount and I have a card that's total claim amount and I only want total claim amount to change. I don't want claims, the number of claims to change. So I click with that element selected, with the bar chart selected, I click edit interactions and you'll see these little icons appear. I'm gonna say none. I don't want anything that I do here to affect this, all right? So then I'm gonna go ahead and change that off. Make sure you have entire page selected in the apply drill down filters to drop down box, okay? Now, when I click this item, watch what's gonna happen. Let's choose personal injury, right? It's 1.1 million. And then what you'll see is this changes to 1.1 million, but this stays, stays at 242,000. What? This is bananas, this is great, all right? And so what do you guys think? Have you been using this? Have you, did you stumble upon this like I did? You know what to do, let's do what? Let's continue the conversation where? In the comments below. If it's your first time visiting the Guy in the Cube channel, hit that subscribe button. If you like my video, give me a big thumbs up. As always, from Adam and myself, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.